All right, guys, in this part of the chicken coop build, what I did is I built some rafters, uh, just simple ones. Out of two two by fours, and I connected them here so it's the support to support them. I think they call it a collar tie. But anyways, you get the idea. And uh, let me show you the rest of them here. Okay, so how I made my rafters is I cut the two by fours here at 25 degrees. Um, that just worked out good because when I put my boards across here like this, it just seemed like a good angle. Um, I, did, I wasn't worried about what pitch it was. I think if you trig it out, it comes out to like 12 by, uh, I think it's 5.96. So it's not really important. It's just 25 degrees on the angle. Uh, I put these uh, supports here, collar ties, I think they call them. And also, I drilled into them here and here. Now, I only had a four inch screw for this one. So I had to countersink this with a bigger drill about, oh, about to here. And then put the four inch screw in here. Um, so that worked out good. And they're plenty sturdy. It's just a chicken coop. Uh, also, my walls from outside to outside, of course, is six feet. So what I did is I marked here and here where my wall is going to sit. And I equally spaced it on each side. So that's six feet from line to line. And I'm going to connect the uh, rafters with rafter ties. And, okay, so we're gonna do that next. All right, what I just did is I put in all the rafter ties and I got one right there. Now this corner ones, I had to bend it like you see it right there. Bend it and straighten that out because it's gonna be flush. The board's gonna be flush with this face here. So anyway, got one there there and all the corner ones I did the same thing because the, the uh, rafters have to be flush with this face here all right the next thing I have to do now is uh, put up the rafters What's nice about these rafter ties, when you're doing small uh, rafters like this, um, it'll hold them in place. As long as it's not too windy, I guess. Okay. Now it's looking like a chicken coop.
All right, I got the rafter ties done. Uh, they're connected to the rafters, all secured down, and it is solid. So, the next thing I have to do is either put my roof sheeting on or put my front uh, sheet here and in the back also. Um, I'm going to be putting trimming up here, you know, along, along the, uh, um, on the exterior. Uh, so I got to compensate. I got to add not only six feet, but whatever trim I'm using and a little bit more uh, just to hang over um, the, the uh, rafters. So anyways, we're going to do, we're going to do something next. All right, I got this side done. One thing I have left to do on here, of course, is the uh, the coop entrance for the chickens, little door. And I'm also putting a window up here. So, uh, I have yet to do this side. This is where the main door is gonna go. I'm gonna cut this two by four here out. That way it'll be easier to clean. I can just sweep it into a wheelbarrow or something. Um, so I'm going to cut that with the Sawzall and then I'm going to put the uh, sheets on here also. I'll make a door later and the door will also have a window in it. Uh, so there's going to be windows all the way around so they get nice fresh air and, and uh, daylight. Extra parts.
Man, I just can't get this guy to help me out. He's just lazy. Now for those of you who are wondering how to do a ridge cap on a roof, this is how you do it. You get your, get your shingle sheet here, lay it down, get a straight edge, put it right in the middle of the slot there, cut that off like that, do the same thing with this one, alright. You're going to want to cut a lot of these depending on how many you got to do for the ridge cap. And then what you want to do, the big side, not the little side here, this, this is the side that's going to show. Right where the uh, slot was, you want to cut this back here. So, you can buy these pre-cut uh, already and everything, but it's just more expensive. Just want to cut a little angle out like that. Doesn't matter what angle, as long as it's back cut. Right to where the the slot ended. Right there. Okay, you're gonna to want to cut a couple of these. I'll just show you two or three to, for the demonstration purpose. to explain and see. Okay. So when you get on your roof, this is going to go on the roof like this, right? Right over the very top of your roof. So you're going to lay your first one down and you're going to nail it where that strip of tar is here. Okay, you're gonna nail one here and one here. Put that down. Then your next one, you're gonna put right where you started the cut, right where that the old um, slot used to be. And you're gonna nail it here and here. And you're gonna just keep going and keep doing that. Put it where the old slot used to be and nail it here and here. Just keep on going and going like that. And this will end up, you know, being on your roof like this. You know, can't hold it very good. Now the reason why you back cut it like that, otherwise, when you look at it from this side, you're going to see, you know, it's going to look kind of stupid, you're going to see the old tile underneath there, a tile, shingle I should say. But like this, when it's on the roof, you can't see it because it's back cut under here, it's hiding. Okay? And that's how you do um, the top of the ridge with these type of shingles. All right guys, that's enough for this video here. I got my roof done, and that was my major concern right now because it's supposed to rain the next day or two. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna do my windows and doors and uh, the trimming and cover up all the holes and all that, uh, vents and things like that. Um, so that's about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Man, I still can't get him to do anything. He just, he just doesn't want to help me. Yeah, you heard me. Uh-huh. I know, life is rough.